Hello, uh, today I'm going to talk about how to mount a hard drive on boot in Linux. I'm using Fedora version 32 and also GNOME desktop environment. Um, so the first thing you need to do is to find out what are those hard drives. Uh, let's see the other locations. See, I have a bunch of hard drives and under each after each hard drive, there's the device name. So it's very little, tiny little words, but you should be able to see slash oh, dev slash sdb2 slash dev sdc1 slash so you can see a bunch of a uh, uh, bunch of stuff uh, so this is much easier than using like terminal command like sudo f disk hyphen l it shows the same information a bunch of other information but it's not as clean as the uh, file explorer i certainly prefer this guy to find their name right here instead of showing a whole bunch of information now once you know their names to mount these guys, uh, if you want to do a one-time mount, it's super easy. Uh, it's a uh, first you need to create some folders. I already created them. It's an mkdir, uh, sudo mkdir, and you can call it like media blah blah or mnt, whatever folder you want to call it. I already made folders. If you can see uh, list media, you can see under my media directory there are data and Ubuntu two folders already made. So you, if you want to mount something to one of these folders, uh, say you want to mount the one of the drives is uh, uh, SDC1. So sudo mount hyphen t, which is the file type, and ext4. Uh, of course, these things have to be correct. If it's a Linux hard drive, ext4, you need to write ext4. If it's a Windows drive, you need to write ntfs hyphen 3g, uh, depending on the hard drive, how the, uh, the file system, yeah. Uh, so this uh, divide, hard drive SDC1 uh, dev SDC1 is a Linux drive. So slash media slash uh, Ubuntu. So now I can just go to CD media Ubuntu and I can see all my system files under that other operating system. So this computer has three operating systems, the Windows, uh, Linux, and the Fedora Linux 32 and Ubuntu Linux 2004. So this is the Ubuntu folder. And to unmount it, it's also very easy. Uh, it's a sudo unmount and a hyphen L lazy and the dev sdc1. So now if you go to CD media Ubuntu, you won't be able to see anything because the device has been unmounted. So it's super easy, right? The mount hyphen T mount hyphen L. Um, so that two command to mount a Windows drive, a non-system Windows drive, not your C drive. It's something very similar. You can sudo mount hyphen T and it's NTFS 3G. That's the file type and dev. Uh, I think it's called what's the Windows drive? Let me check. SDB2. Okay, SDB2. And now you can type some name. Say. Um, the folder right media Ubuntu and option okay I think that should be too okay falling back to read only mount because NDFS partition is in an unsafe state so this is because the Windows fast boot you have mounted the drive but you can only read it if you want to write it you have to log into your Windows and disable fast boot which I I think it's a kind of a hassle just a sep I don't see you need the reason or the need to log into Windows system drive from Linux and do something because you may mess things up so usually this is not advised but if you really want to mount a Windows system drive use the disable the fast boot okay let's just unmount it sudo unmount uh, lazy dev s db2 now it's unmounted now if you want to mount into another Windows drive formatting in NTFS which is my device, it's called SDE1. Uh, sudo mount hyphen T, uh, it's again NTFS 3G dev SDE1. And the, let's call it uh, media or data, yeah, this folder. You need to create those folders beforehand, like media hyphen data, media hyphen. Uh, Ubuntu, those are created beforehand. You, you should be able to create a folder. This is very, super easy. Yeah. Now we can look at the, the files under that uh, directory. You can see a whole bunch of stuff, right? Um, okay, so that's the how you mount and unmount uh, 
drive. Let's just uh, unmount it. U mount lazy dev uh, SD one. You just unmounted everything. So all the directories are mounted. All the hard drives are mounted. If you want to mount that hard drive at startup without having to manually type typing things in this uh, window. So every time you boot your computer, these two drives are already mounted. It's fairly easy. Um, it's just uh, added one source code, vim, etc. Uh, app stab. So by the way, vim is a text editor. You don't have to use vim. Uh, I use vim, but you don't have to. You see, I already wrote these two lines of code here so slash device slash sdc1 that's my ubuntu um, linux drive i mounted it on this directory media ubuntu this mount point and then i have ext4 as the file type and default 00 default 00 same thing this is to mount that windows ntfs uh, drive uh, mounted mount point is called media data yeah so you just edit that file adding these two lines at the bottom you will be able to have those two drives mounted automatically at uh, when your when when your Linux boot. Yeah, so that's uh, save you a little bit of hassle. Okay, I'll quit out of this guy. Uh, so basically, uh, you have mount hyphen t mount and um, u mount hyphen l, and then you can edit this etc uh, f step file, adding two lines of code. And then you can automatically mount these guys. Okay, that's um, uh, how to mount uh, hard drives in uh, Linux.